watching, always tracking, so we can warn you first. This is your Storm Team 27 forecast. Well, if you're like me, you still have a chance to get outdoors early in the afternoon before we get the rain. We've got two uh, separate lines of showers here. We won't get, be affected by this as much as this line that's coming up from the south and just sort of rolling through here because of the low pressure system. So what do we have? This one's 41 miles away, but this is what's already started in our area. Around the Warren area, just uh, northeast of there from Latimer to Vianna, Hartford, into Pima Tuming, near Greenville there, and also around Blacktown, Grove City, and Valcourt. They're getting the rain. More rain is on the way. Our temperatures in our neighborhood include 57 in Elwood City, 55 in Calcutta, up to 61 in Wellsville. They're the lucky ones, but they're getting some sunshine down there. 54 in Beloit, 55 in Austin Town, and 54 in Warren as well. The temperature is generally in the 50s. Here's Future Tracker showing the light rain in, to the north there in Trumbull and Mercer counties. That's at noon, 1230, sort of stays is around there. Then we get to 3 o'clock. Mercer and Lawrence County getting more of that rain and throughout this whole time into the evening hours. Mercer and Lawrence County will get more of the rain than anybody else in our five county area. By first news at five, it's up in Trumbull County. Seems to be avoiding Mahoney County there and Trumbull in uh, Columbiana County as well. Slips in here though around 1130. And as we head into Friday, this is when it starts to pull out so that by three o'clock in the morning, it's gone. How much rain do we expect? This morning we were showing much heavier rain, but now it looks like generally less than a tenth of an inch or a tenth of an inch and more of the rain, about a quarter of an inch around Mercer, Stoneboro could pick up to uh, a half an inch of rain. So our weather team forecast for this afternoon, mostly cloudy and the high in uh, the only uh, 59 degrees there with showers and breezy too. Winds up to about 15 miles per hour for tonight. Scattered showers with a low of 45 degrees, but that sets us up for a good day tomorrow. Again, there could be a chance of rain during the overnight, but by the afternoon, partly the mostly sunny. I have 63, just a start of a warming trend into the weekend. Saturday and Sunday were around 70 and we are dry. And as you look at Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, you do see showers. But here's the good news. Next week, we have temperatures in the highs in the 